hello friends so now in this video we are going to see how we can uh, populate our grid view with actual data and instead of passing just only one image we will pass different images of animals so let's get started so this is what we have covered till uh, in the last lecture so what i will do is for just better understanding we will uh, remove the last uh, video code and we'll do it again but before we start uh, since we need to fetch all the animals from here images and some uh, names for the animals also so what we will do is we'll create a struct so just like this this will be a model class where sub we are just assuming that we'll get the data from the server and we have to show that on our uh, grid view just like we sh did in a uh, list uh, lecture so yeah let's get started let's create a struct and this we will name it as animal and in this we need to tell the what are the different properties of animal so i will first create one uh, id for the animal so we are creating this id just so that this uh, grid view will uh, come to know each row uh, uniquely so for that we will create one unique id for each uh, cell second let's create a name which will be of type string okay then uh, what else we can give uh, suppose uh, we can give uh, like uh, image yeah since we have to show image so image url we are just naming it it will also be a type of string so let's stop here only let's give these many uh, properties only now uh, what i want is i want to uh, fetch all the animals and show it on the grid so i will create one extension for this animal struct which will give me all the animals so just like we did in the video of a list here also we are doing the same where i will create a function static function which will give me all animals okay and uh, it will return me an array of animal okay so since it uh, wants me to return an array of element let me first declare an array and this array will have different animal okay so what uh, we can name it as a uh, so let me just uh, first give some dummy names so i will name it as a1 and here i will name it as for our image names that we have in the here in assets animal 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we'll give the same names a comma let me copy paste everything to save our time this is 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and let me rename them two three four five six seven eight nine ten same here two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so we have our animals ready we can fetch them here in our uh, main content view let animals equal to animal dot all animals this way we'll get all the animals here now we need to pass those animals to uh, our grid view in list view we have just directly passed this array since we have to display only a single vertical row of animals so we can directly pass that but in grid view it's little bit different here we don't want to directly pass the uh, this uh, animals list we want to convert our this single array into a 2d array or 3d or 4d depends on uh, how many rows you want how many columns you want in your grid so what i will do is i will write one extension on the arrays and i will explain you that uh, later so let me first add that extension so extension on array so this 
extension will work on all types of array whether it is an integer array uh, string array double array whatever type it is it will work on that so and we are going to create our own function inside this so that we can call that function from any array so this is what extension does it will extend means it will add extra properties to your uh, uh, pro to your type so here it is an array type so i want to group my animals into number of columns size that i pass so i will say or i will call this function as group animals okay and then i will say into and the size and size will be of type integer then it won't me to return an array but it will be a two dimensional array okay. not animal it will return elements means whatever the array we are going to return inside this okay so this is what clear that we want to uh, get the columns and and that will be of number of columns will be equal to size whatever we pass and inside this this uh, we are going to return our array so let's me write that so this is little bit different so we'll use this stride function and let me yeah so this will be going to use stride means it it is going to jump from one like uh, from a1 to a3 a3 to a5 this is what we are going to mention inside this so first we have to mention from where you're going to start so i will say i want to start from the first then i will jump directly to the number of count uh, we have to continuously go so uh, count is the property inside our array type so that we are going to fetch here and by how much you want to so it will be a size that we pass here so this is that and then we are going to use a map property on this it is nothing but uh, that uh, you must have heard higher order functions map reduce so it is that map it will uh, map everything uh, we, with whatever condition we are going to give here and it will convert that to 2d array and it will give us back here and we are just going to uh, display that in our uh, grid view so what i will do here is i want array right so i will declare array and then in on this array i will create this and if it is little bit uh, getting difficult for you to understand you can ignore this for now because it is not that much important you can directly write this code it will basically going to give you uh, your single array into 2d array uh, as per the your uh, preferred size of number of columns so from this to less than wait uh, less than i have to give uh, so f dot minimum function i want to take and minimum uh, from two things minimum from uh, means the element which is currently the dollar zero means the first current element in our uh, past array so dollar zero plus the size or co comma count so yeah here we are done with our function and now uh wait something went wrong i guess yeah here i have to give the square brackets not the round brackets okay so this function is done so basically what we are going to do is using this we are going to convert this 1d array into 2d array and pass that to our grid view so just for the clarity i will clear the old data completely so that we can write this function again and then it will be easy for us to understand so let's get started and uh, now we have our animals array of one dimension this and what we want to display so if i run here now it will do give error since we are not uh, returning any view for this body so like previously we have written code i uh, will write the same one again uh, we will write list for vertical display and inside list we will again create two for each loop one again let me comment the right comment so that it will uh, be easy to understand rows this for each for responsible for rows and one more for each i will create that is responsible for columns and now uh, we need to tell for each what they have to take so here i have to give my uh, so earlier we have given animals 
dot count and we have to take the index of this uh, outside for each loop that we will use for displaying uh, that will be useful in the second for each loop I will explain you that in a while and for second we have to give again same uh, animals but this time it will take the index value which is coming from here I will explain this in a while just uh, let me write the code then now inside this we are doing nothing but we are just displaying the image image of what here we will get one animal right from this array animal in then animal dot image url i'm going to display here so this is how we are going to display the image here but you can see we are getting many errors here so the first error is the count error it's a range so i have to give here the range so the range will be from 0 to less than count of animals okay now the second uh, error is i have cannot convert value of type animal to an expected argument type range so here also i have to give the range they are saying but since uh, now you will clearly understand what we have to do so since we have to pass 2d array not a uh, single dimension single dimension array so we will convert this array to 2d array using our this function so i will write here my grouped so i will get the grouped animals right grouped animals array equal to here i will say animals dot grouped animals that we have created here so group by how much we have to provide the size so i want uh, two columns so i will pass here two and then i will pass this group by animals instead of normal animals here also and yeah now let's see still it is giving us error so let me check uh, yeah so one more thing you can uh, remember in the first lecture we have learned that this body uh, view always expect only one view to be written but here now we are we have written two statements list and this uh, group animal so it is getting confused which one to consider so uh, we will ex explicitly write here return so that our compiler will understand okay this is only be the return statement not this one so now it is uh, clear so that error has gone now we have one more error okay so here what is it saying that value of type int has no image url okay so inside image we have image url so i think first we need to solve this issue then the uh, uh, other issue will get solved so you, as you remember that uh, yeah as you remember that for this for loop we have to display horizontally so we haven't read our h stack here so if i write h stack if you are not understanding is this this part please check the last video there you will kind of, there you will clearly understand why we have written h stack here so now all the errors are gone let's uh, resume it let's see what it says okay still we are getting the error so let me check here we have h stack then we have for each loop and we have get the array here then we have passed the index index we have we got from here then uh, images image we have written on this for each animal and animal let me check the spelling and everything is right okay then here we have directly passed the image let me run it let me okay so looks like we have missed something okay yeah right we haven't passed the count here oh my mistake so yeah now it should no 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 sorry we have to so this basically takes the so animals inside animals we have 2d arrays and this index it will take two uh, two animals from this index which is coming from the top so we don't need to pass there 
okay let me check i guess i have forgot something zero less than this image we are passing it let me check if all uh, okay 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 looks like everything is correct right let me just delete this and let's see if i'm getting anything error for each i have used group animals is also correct and animal and i think i have misspelled anything or what let me just pass the text here to just to check if it is because of my mistake or it's something else okay let me let me check it again try again it's giving me error here it's not able to take the index for this group animal into size we have written or maybe i have written the this function correctly let me check the uh, group array into our size and it will return as 2d element written stride <coughs> from 0th index we have to start till the count and by the size we have and then we have the map function and inside map we are going to return an array with first to the swift of minimum and here we'll give the dollar and plus size and count so this looks correct actually extension then uh, we have this animal array also static function all animals I have to return they should return everything oh here is the mistake I guess this may be the issue no okay so this issue is really not understanding why I'm getting this issue static function I've created okay then it will return me animal oh right so I forgot very important thing to mention so when you are uh, declaring this ID inside your uh, stra you have to declare it as an identifiable so that your group or uh, your grid view or list view come to know each element uniquely using this id so this is was the issue <laughs> sorry guys for for um, wasting your time but yeah so you must have learned that how to check your problem you have to go to each uh, so this is a small uh, project so you you can go through each function and you can check otherwise you can run the project and if it is running properly and then you can debug it so yeah this is how now let's don't waste much time and try again and see if we are getting the results okay and yeah and this time i can pass the image here image and i will pass the name animal dot image url hope it works okay let me resize it using resizable and aspect ratio of in fact hope that works yeah and now i have to also give the name for the animal dot name but to for this to work or look good we will use these type and display them vertically on top of each on uh, one above the each other and now it's looking better okay so this is how you can pass your dynamic data which you are which you will basically get from an api that will run that we will see in future videos currently we have just assumed that we have got this result from our api and we are displaying it here so yeah this is how it works and yeah hopefully uh, you have learned something from this video thank you and if you have any comments if you have any issues please comment them below i will try to solve them thank you and bye